YouTube. Once there was a little girl, a complete stranger to this world, who didn't know what her talents were, her hobbies, her passions, or what she wanted to do with her life. But she did know that she had an interest in video making, and the sensor showed for the first time on Christmas Day when she was just five years old. You want some pepper cake? This little girl's mom used to tuck her in at night, sing to her, read to her, or both. But this little girl would lie awake until her dad came into her room. Now, before I was five, my dad would um, either tell me another story, pray with me, or something. But then, until then, or after that, I mean, when I was five, he let me use his iTouch, which is a really, really old um, Apple product from, like... I don't know, over a decade ago. No one uses them now. There you go. But um, one night, this little girl wanted to watch her favourite show instead of telling stories or praying or whatever. So her dad showed her this amazing app known as YouTube and let her watch her favourite show for about 20 minutes straight last night. This little girl loved that. And from then on, she wanted to do that most nights rather than storytelling or praying because it was really fun for her. And this little girl only continued to become more passionate about it over the years. For example, this is a picture of her when she was six. When she was six, she used to put on plays for her grandparents with toys, usually her meerkats. And imagine she was in a YouTube video. Usually in these plays, she was reenacting a scene she'd read in a book at school or something in her own words. She loved doing this. She looked forward to doing this on the weekends that she stayed with them. And she even had a theme song for her little place. She did it that often, which I can still remember to this day for some reason. This little girl now knew her, her number one passion and one of her hobbies. It was video making. It had always been. And she knew that now because she did it on a regular basis, whether she was posting it or not. Then when this little girl turned seven, she always wanted her mum to film her playing with her toys on one very specific mat in the living room. Sometimes she would use her toys to reenact things she'd seen in YouTube videos or um, books or TV shows or whatever, and sometimes she just made them up. But whatever she was doing, she wanted her mum to, to film all of it in the hopes that one day she could post it. Well, dream come true, I guess? By the age of eight, this little girl has another passion, story writing, which may or may not have led to the creation of her second channel. But yeah, ignoring that, sticking with this channel, by the time she was eight, this is when she started to ask her parents if she could be the one to hold the camera when she was filming them doing stuff. And sometimes she would ask to borrow the camera just to film some weird things like what you're seeing in this video. Yeah. Yes, guys, that is indeed a hamster attached to a lead. You're not crazy. Please don't judge me. The neighbours thought I was crazy. Everyone thought I was crazy. Please, I just followed her YouTube videos. I was never actually going to post it. Well, until today, you could say. But, yeah. Then, when this little girl was nine, she took to drawing characters on paper, cutting them out and using them to act out scenes. First, she did it with Frozen characters, then My Little Pony characters, and then she made up her own and did it with them, too. She was terrible at art, and once at a time, she actually wanted to post this nonsense. Oh, well, it proved that her passion was growing, and so was her confidence. Then when she was 10, she took an interest in let's playing or gaming, but not just any gaming. She wanted to play underrated games that she loved, like Sonic, Crocodile Run, Monkey Flight, Monkey Ball, and um, Clumsy Cat, because she knew she'd be unique if she did that, even though she never actually posted it. She still narrated it in her head. Then when this little girl was 11, she found out something amazing. Her cousin had a YouTube channel. And she was really impressed. She envied her cousin and admired him. She wanted to have a YouTube channel just like him. Um, and then, but then she realised something. It was her mum who told her about it, saying that her, the girl's uncle had told her. Does that mean that she'd asked? Does that mean 
If, cause if she asked, then did that mean that she was considering letting... This was the big day. This was the day I first got my life as Beth. And I was so excited. Now, fun fact, for those who don't know, I was initially going to make my channel completely dedicated to kids. Like, I was going to do, like, cartoon videos and animal videos and stuff. But then the next day, like, I was literally going to keep this secret from everyone. Like, in my school, don't think I even told Cara. And... Yeah, but the next day at school, my friend said, I was trying to Snapchat you and you didn't answer me. Why, why did you not answer me? And I said, oh, sorry, my battery was flat because I'd been making videos. And then my best friend said, you were making videos? Were you making YouTube videos? And I just said, yeah, because I trusted her. I, I trusted them both. Not, I, not, I knew they wouldn't take the piss away. I trusted them. And I'm just like, yeah. Um was making YouTube videos and then my best friend got all excited about checking them out and stuff and then this was the reason why I changed my channel idea because by the end of that week everyone or almost everyone in my year knew that I had a YouTube channel because trust me guys if you're still in primary school trust me you can't even fart in high school without someone knowing so if you if you tell the wrong person that you have a YouTube channel, it wasn't my friend's fault, it wasn't my fault, it just happens, high school. You, having a YouTube channel was a big deal, so everybody knew about it. So I changed it up because then I was worried that people would take the piss out of me for making kids videos. So I changed it up and that's how this channel got here today. Big thanks to my two best friends because um, if it weren't for them, then I would have lost this channel to Article 13. Um, in the first place and this copper thing if I had survived article 13 would have been a catastrophe at least because of them it was, it's just a disaster but it could have been a catastrophe so big thanks to them for helping me um, and yeah that's that was day one and I think Cara was my first subscriber and then my best friend was my second subscriber and she knows who she is I'm keeping it anonymous but she knows who she is um, just by subscribing to me and commenting on my videos was great support because I'm pretty sure her comments were the first comments I ever got, so thank you. I um the next milestone I was aiming for obviously was twenty, but I never thought I'd get twenty subscribers. I thought that if I got twenty subscribers, it'd be like a miracle. I didn't think anyone would want to watch me. So when I did get twenty subscribers, I was over the moon. But I thought right. That was luck. I'm not going to get any more subscribers because I didn't believe that I was making it happen. I just believed it was luck. I didn't think people actually liked my videos. And then, um, so yeah, that was a milestone. But then the next big milestone was um, I met an, someone who's now an online friend of mine in the comments of someone else's videos. And we were both around the same age, both had similar interests and stuff. Uh, she was a wee bit younger than me, but less than a year. And um, I'll keep her anonymous as well. She's changed her names a few times anyway. But yeah, she commented on my videos. I think one of us had 36 subscribers and one of us has 38 at the time. So I can't really remember which one I was. But I remember she commented on my videos and said that because I was her biggest fan, because I can comment on hers first, she was going to be my biggest fan too. I remember that was really special because that's the first time I remember getting a subscriber from a stranger, like everyone else who, com who commented on you in real life. Um, well, technically someone did comment on one of my earlier videos. and they, I, I think they subscribed and I didn't subscribe back, which was really rude. So yeah, sorry if you're watching this, but yeah. Um, see, I think what I call it is if someone subscribed to you and you're subscribed to them and you're constantly commenting on each other's videos, I would consider that like a partnership. And so yeah, we were like we were both subscribed to each other, stuff like that. And then eventually she asked me if I had an Instagram account and we started talking on Instagram and we became online friends. Still talk to each other on Instagram sometimes. And um she also supported me in another way, which I'll get to later. Um but I need to move on now to my fifty subscriber milestone. I believe I have forty eight subscribers. I was approaching fifty. But I stayed stuck on 48 for a while, until one day I was scrolling through the comments of a most amazing top 10 video, and I seen a comment of another young girl, um, I don't know, around the same age, maybe a bit older, maybe a bit younger, um, saying, "If you subscribe to me, I'll subscribe back." So I subscribed to her, and she subscribed back. So we had another like partnership.
thing. I was commenting on her video, she was commenting on mine. And we were both using the same app, which is a real coincidence because I've never seen anyone else besides me and her using Scrimpa video. It seems to be pretty rare. So the fact that we coincidentally met and we're both using the same video making thing, it was a coincidence. So our videos were kind of similar. Like she had different ideas, I had different ideas. Like we weren't copying each other, like we were separate channels, but the music and some of the backgrounds were similar because we were using the same apps. So that was cool. And she became my 49th subscriber, bringing me one step closer to 50. And then when I did get 50, uh, by the way, she had a couple more subscribers than me, I believe. She had like 50 something, and I only had like 48, 49. And then when I did hit 50 subscribers, she commented on my video. Um, and she could have, if she wanted to, she could have been mean about it. She could have said, Why are you making a big deal out of this? I've got 55, and I never made a big deal, stuff like that. But she didn't. I remember her saying, um, Well done. I can tell you, you a video. This is well edited, and saying, I don't think I could make something like this or something like that, something really nice. And her saying that, um, it boosted my confidence because before that I'd have been terrified of getting hate. I was worried to post this, that and the other because I was worried, well, what if someone hates me for it? Or what if people say this, that and the other? But then after this, this was why this was very, this support was very well appreciated because after that I didn't care about hate anymore. I thought, right, well, because this opened my eyes to the fact, to this fact, I had a reputation already. I had 50 subscribers and 50 people knew about me. And at that point, I hadn't had any hate comments. I did get a couple later down the line, unfortunately, but I hadn't got any hate comments. And then the fact that people were actually saying that my work was good, it boosted my confidence. It made me um, just like, I mean, I was still a little bit scared of getting hate, but it reduced it. It helped me. I wasn't as worried about getting hate and I felt more confident with posting a more wider variety of stuff. So that was very well appreciated. And then after 50, um, things progressed a lot quicker for some reason. Like I remember getting more subscribers like pretty quick because it took me 11 months to get 50 and I just, and then this like time flew, I kept getting more and I'm like, oh my God. Like, and then like, I like, when you get like a lot of subscribers, you do worry about getting hate, but I've only got a couple of hate comments and none of them bothered me because I always knew that there were people who did enjoy the videos and stuff so that didn't bother me. This time I think it was just over a year ago Um, I can't I'm sorry if you're watching this I can't remember how I found this channel but there's this channel this little boy has a channel and he does like live streams and these cute videos and stuff and I can't for the life of me remember how I found it but I remember I found it and he had like 26 subscribers, which was good. Anything over 20 is good for a small channel. But he didn't get many comments and I felt bad for him because I knew how nice it was to get comments. So I subscribed to him and I started commenting on his videos just to kind of give him that boost that I got. It was very nice. His videos were cute. Well recorded for someone because like some kids are really bad with the camera. He was good with the camera. And um, watching all his live streams and stuff. And then he subscribed back pretty quick. So I had like another partnership he was commenting on mine I was commenting on his and then at the exact same time or roughly around the same time um an older teenage girl uh, I think she was about 18 19 or something unfortunately I can't remember how I found her channel either I think maybe she commented on mine first but then I subscribed back and I commented on hers and stuff and I had like another partnership but only for a brief amount of time because she stopped uploading sort of this wee boy but recently he started uploading again they still watch his stuff doesn't last him anymore, but I still watch his videos and stuff, and still, still he sometimes comments online. So, yeah. So those were two milestones as well. Those subscribers were very supportive just by just by subscribing back. Cause like I want to be supported, or I want to be supportive to them. I didn't want anything back, but by subscribing back, I just like, oh my god, cause like I wasn't expecting to subscribe back. I just want to be supportive, but now we were both getting support from each other. So those subscribers were very helpful to me as well. And then there was... Uh, yeah, w one more, but then I have to discuss two again. So about one, two, three, four, five months or something after I started Moral Star, um, I got my first comment from someone outside of like my friendship group. And I subscribed to her. 
without realising I was using my Moral Star account because I want to subscribe to her. I subscribed to somebody, but I meant to use my My Life is Bad account, but little did I know I was actually on my Moral Star account. So I subscribed to someone on my Moral Star account and then instantly worried they were going to follow me back. Because normally I'd be excited for them to do that, but I was worried, what if this person is in story writing, what if they hate on me? They did, in fact, subscribe to me back. And they said, um, nice video, I'm going to watch the whole series. And they literally, remember last night in my video when I was like, Phew, and then, yeah, that was, that was, that was me right then, because I was so relieved, and then I slapped myself for worrying so much, because I'm supposed to know now not to worry. And then not only did she watch Moral Star, but then she bothered to find my life as Beth and come over here and comment here too. And that was really special just that she took the time to do both because I never thought anyone would do that because I was just mostly doing it as a hobby. I didn't think anyone would actually like it. So having someone give up the time to do that, that was special too. So her support is much appreciated as well. She's changed her name multiple times as well. And just once, but yeah, I'll just I'll keep her secret too. Before I keep talking, special shout out to my best friend and my sister because literally right from the beginning up till now they've been super supportive. So yeah, still anonymous but still big thanks. And another thanks to everyone who I mentioned anonymously because you know who you are so thanks for all that support. Begging you YouTube, I know you think I'm useless. But one day I'll get ad, ad revenue and I'll make you money. Please don't delete me before you get the chance. I don't want to make money from YouTube videos, but if it's the only way you'll let me stay, then whatever. But I, I just want to keep this as a hobby. So please, YouTube, don't drag me down with you. Please. Please. I want to stay. And I'll make you ad revenue and money if I have to. One day. Please.